East of the international date line, Niue is a small nation home to 1,200 people. Hidden away in the forests are hives of honey. The local beekeeper says these colonies are the cleanest bees in the world. 99% of beekeepers in the world would cry to see these beaky bees like this. You know, they, they'd be envious of beautiful hives like this just ticking along. Yeah, Amazing. see how calm they are. Should you put them right up your face? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Nothing to worry about, mate. Even with a mask on. Oh, yeah, that's nothing crazy. Worry. They look good, hey, aren't Yeah. Andy is producing a range of organic honey products to fund his dream. A Pacific bee sanctuary to combat diseases and mites plaguing the world's bees. He says Niue has the perfect climate to breed calm queen bees all year round. You've got to get the right size island. If you go too small, um, you know, you can't get the scale up. If you go too big, it's too hard to manage with the, the transport and everything. This is the perfect size island for this project. New Aim is isolated. The nearest country from here is 300 kilometres away, which is why a bee sanctuary could work. We're isolated. We're the leader of New Aim supports the bold plan because it's a struggle to make money from agriculture here due to a small workforce and long shipping routes. If we need to, to borrow money to ensure that in fact we can accelerate the process, we'll do that. I think. At the present moment, we, we'll, we're talking to them about the possibilities of becoming joint venture partners. Critics say Niue is cyclone prone and fear diseases could kill the pure bees easily when they're exported overseas. But Niue wants scientists to come here to experience the buzz for themselves. Drew Ambrose, Al Jazeera, Niue.